Earth is the only planet in the solar system where water is found in all the three states of matter, liquid, solid and gaseous. Water is very valuable in terms of heat retention. That makes it a useful resource for the survival and growth of plants and animals. Our body is mostly water, 60 to 70 percent. Large amounts of heat must flow in and out of our bodies to bring about temperature changes. Similar is the case with oceans, which contain 71% of all water on Earth. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Hydrological cycle, distribution of water bodies, circulation of ocean water. Water on Earth Earth is the only planet in the solar system where water is found in all the three states of matter, liquid, solid and gaseous. Water is very valuable in terms of heat retention. That makes it a useful resource for the survival and growth of plants and animals. Our body is mostly water, 60 to 70 percent. Oceans contain 71 percent of all water on Earth. Hydrological cycle. The water continuously moves between the hydrosphere, atmosphere, and lithosphere. This movement of water is called the water cycle or hydrological cycle. Sunlight falling on the surface of the ocean causes sea water to evaporate. Evaporation also takes place from all creatures in the biosphere. The return of water vapor into the atmosphere by plants is called transpiration. Animals do that through perspiration in the process of keeping themselves cool. The temperature must remain below the boiling point. When water vapor rises in the atmosphere, condensation begins. Vapor is changed into water droplets or ice crystals. These tiny water droplets and ice crystals rise further up into the atmosphere where they form clouds. When the air is unable to hold them, they fall to the earth as precipitation. Saline and fresh water the total stock of water that flows in streams and rivers or is stored in freshwater lakes, ice caps and glaciers is fresh water. Some quantity of groundwater is also fresh water. Groundwater is water that percolates underground during precipitation. Fresh water also includes the moisture in the atmosphere. The total stock of fresh water is less than 3% of the total amount of water on earth. This means that the remaining water in seas, oceans and some lakes is saline water. Comparison between fresh and saline water. 